<clears throat> oh shit. Hey everybody. See how big of a mess I can make. I'm just getting set up, let people get signed on. You have to pardon my cough, I got a cold. And it's not Corona. God, I hate saran wrap. I always use saran wrap on my brushes and my Mod Podge because when I'm not doing it, I just cover it up to keep air from getting to it. Oh, let me get me some paper towels. see so every let me see here I'm trying to position this god this is like working in a mirror so we're going to do the peacock first and then if i haven't bored everybody to death we'll do the the smaller one the 30 ounce well that's a 32 ounce true now, for my stained glass, I prefer using um, the 32-ounce plumps from Steel Magnolia because they're not tapered. So you get an actual true, you get an actual true wrap, an even wrap. They've uh, they've come to be my favorite. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll be using, as of now, eight glitters for the peacock. Eight different. <coughs> Man, I'll show you guys a sneak peek. This is one that I created 
yesterday that I have to glitter for somebody. That's a created a stencil. So I'll be working on that probably later on tonight, tomorrow, I'll try to get it done. So I guess we can start. So as you can see, I use tons of brushes. These are my the makeup brushes that I use to brush away glitter after I applied it. To kind of clear out the edges. And then I use various paint brushes for the Mod Podge. <coughs> um... Let me see what color I want to start first. Generally, when I do mine, since there's so many different colors, I always do my dark colors first. If you're going to use white, pink, any light colors, save them for last. Um, because as you apply them, if you're going to apply the light first and then the dark, you're going to have a lot of overlap. And it's hard to you know, keep them off your light colors. So do your light colors last. Um... um, um, um. Let's see. I think I'll just start with the peacock. I'm going to do my peacock in greens. So I count it one, two, three, four. There's four areas on the head. Now you guys are going to be blown away how easy this is going to be. And I just start and I just paint my Mod Podge on. I always do one color. First, so anything that's going to be the same green, I go ahead and just do it instead of having to go back. But I just paint it up to the lines on the vinyl. And this is where your different brushes come in so you can get tight, tight coverage. Um, let's do the darker green. I'm not using any fancy glitters. I apologize. I use Michael's big, uh, Hobby Lobby, whatever. I really like Hobby Lobby glitters personally because they always seem to lay flat. Give it a good tap, and then I take a brush and I just go over all the to get all the loose off in the other areas that doesn't belong. Then that's gonna be the first part of the peacock. <coughs> um, oh, and I kept, oh. I have these fancy paper plates is what I catch all my loose glitter on. You know, fancy china. And then I'll just work around. They are very time consuming. And this was just an idea that my best friend is just starting out with stained glass. He's making stained glass. And... I was brainstorming, thinking, hmm, I wonder if I could take these patterns and put them on a tumbler. And it worked. So now I'll switch glitter. You don't have to be precise. That's what the little makeup brushes are for. I just make sure I give it a good slap on the bottom. Now, they are going to look messy until you seal them. And then 
move on so don't be alarmed when it doesn't look right to you until you get it all cleaned up so then there's the neck hey Stephanie so you can see it's hard for me to see you can see next to the edge of the vinyl there where there's a little black spots again that's where my little brushes come in handy because it's easier to do it with the vinyl on and I just go right along that edge and push it down to fill that in now versus later so you'll have crisp lines when you pull it it's okay if you get the Mod Podge on the, the vinyl and then I'll just go over that again and then I usually just pat down with my finger to even it out And then brush away the the color off the black so it's not mixing. Um, now we'll go to the head. Anyone else have a problem? You need like 14 rooms to do tumblers. Small spaces again. I pat it down with my finger after I put the glitter on. Um, generally on the cold dark colors like all this green you will only do one coat of glitter that's all you need because you want them to look uh, no Susie I don't seal the spray paint I just spray it black I use a flat black and then I just let it dry really good before I apply the vinyl because it's okay if um, most of the time, if you let it sit, when you I use removable vinyl, so the grip's not all that strong. Um, excuse me, but when I pull my vinyl, if anything pulls off with that, I'm going to show you what you'll you'll do to fix it, and it's very easy. But no, I don't I don't seal. I think a lot of people over seal some stuff. I don't seal uh, my wood grains. I don't. Only thing I actually seal is glitter. And like you see my post, I spray it like it's a 1980s prom hairdo. That glitter is not going to move when I come when it comes to epoxy time. See? And I generally just go use my imagination for my color placement. I've always been really good with colors. Of course, Erica helped me last night pick out some colors. She approved. Thank you, Erica. Okay, so this will be the head. So that's what the head will look like. And as I was saying earlier, one coat of your dark glitters is fine. You want it to really have an illusion of being stained glass. You know, when you look at stain, a piece of stained glass, you can see through it. 
So not necessarily translucent, but you just want to have almost like a faded look, I guess is the term. But you will have to do two coats of that I found with whites, pinks, um, yellows. Um, what other one is a hard one? Orange. I struggle with orange with good coverage with one coat. I don't know about anybody else, but I do. So now, I'm just going to put my greens away. What else? <coughs> Again, I apologize for all the coughing. Guess it happens when you go on vacation, you come back. Okay, so there's the greens. Oh. I do need... Hmm. I missed the color. I'm going to use some gold for the beak. So now I'm going to go... to the beak. I'm actually going to do the beak and around the eyes in gold. I mean, peacocks are meant to be colorful, so. Gold. And again, it's okay if you dump your glitter in the areas that's not Mod Podge. Once you give it a good slap, it all comes off anyways. Brush it off. Again, don't be alarmed when you look at your cup and you say, this isn't turning out right. It will, it will. So then there's the eyes, or the eye. Um, I don't know what color I want to do the eye. I guess I'll just do, not necessarily white, is it? Black. I would do it black. Like an eye should be. So there's the peacock, the, the head, the beak, and the eye. Erica, did you get your camo glitter put together? Okay. You will find Stryger glitter. I'm always brushing it off just to prevent mixing. Now we're going to go to. I'm actually going to do the frame, I think, first before I start doing the feathers. I'm going to do those in copper, kind of give it a little flash. And I'll do a couple, I'll paint a couple of them since I'm using the same color glitter. 
I'll paint a couple at the same time. Let's see here. Again, this is just Hobby Lobby Copper Penny. Again, small spaces, I'll pat down with my finger, just to kind of make, move it to the edges. People have asked where I get my stencils from. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I look for digital coloring book pages. Um, online, I look at um, stained glass patterns. You can find tons of them online for free. Um, <coughs> I just download them, uh, convert them to SVG files and upload them to the design space and cut them. I just went to, um, I live in Florida, so we were just in St. Augustine on Monday. We went up to see the lighthouse and stuff, so I actually found a, a lighthouse around the world coloring book. That's going to be great for me to be able to do lighthouse um, tumblers. And I'll just use my scanner, scan it in, upload it, and cut it out, cut them out. Now when I do my next lighthouse, I'll post a process on how that one was made because I could not find a pattern because they wanted a particular lighthouse in Oregon. And I just, I all I could found, find was a picture. So we created a stencil from a picture. All by hand. And I shocked myself that it actually worked, but so now I'm gonna be attempting, I'm gonna try to do a portrait of somebody on a tumbler. Um, Tammy, I use just um, removable vinyl is all I use. The grip's not as strong for the paint. I always use a light colored, um, doesn't matter. I use white, blue, light blue, yellow, whatever I can get. Um, so I can see it to pull from all the colors. Susie, I start, I apply my vinyl on these. I, I apply it in the middle first. So my big design in the middle. And then I just let the uh, contact paper kind of fall. And I do one side at a time. So I'll flatten this side down. And then I'll turn it over and I'll do this side. On these um, uh, plump tumblers, I really have had no problem with it with anything laying flat. They are incredible. I don't have any issue with any of my stencils going on easy. So we're just going to continue around with the copper after this. After these two, I'll show you what the copper is looking like, and you guys can give me your opinion. Excuse me. Oh, let's see here. Let me see, you can see. <laughs> You can see, you know, like I said, it, it's, the process looks a lot more difficult than it actually is. It's just very time consuming. Um, some of my tumblers that I've done, my Starry Night took me nine and a half hours just to apply the glitter. That was a monster. 
Will I do it again? Hmm, probably if asked. But that that was a challenge, and I love to challenge myself. I'm also a quilter. That's my that's my main hobby is my quilting. I sleep very little, for those people that want to know. But I live in Florida, so quilting in the summertime, just, it's hot. It's just too hot to be bundled up in material, cutting and sewing and everything. So this will be kind of my summer. <coughs> um, Terry, I used Rust-Oleum. Um... I think it's two times flat black. I think that's what it's called. I can show you a can in just one second. Again, see, I, I had missed some. Some of the glitter. The Mod Podge, will, some places will dry a lot quicker. So you just go over it with a fine brush. Fill in that edge. I'll tap it down. Give it a spank. Clear away my copper glitter and just keep going around. Yeah, Erica, your Beauty and the Beast turned out amazing. You did a great job on that one. You must have had a pretty good teacher. Yeah, Alicia, I'm sorry, um, in case you didn't hear. Oh, who's that? I'm sorry, Susan. It's just Mod Podge. I use Mod Podge for my glitters. Even when I'm not doing stained glass, I, I, I'm fairly new myself, so I have not mastered the epoxy method. But this is just Mod Podge that I'm painting on with different brushes and areas. And then, let's see. I do, Terry. I, I, I do. I don't, this is more of a hobby for me. Um, so I do make them for people when they ask me if I'll make them now. Um, I have a few on my shelf here that I've done just to kind of have a stock. But yeah, I do, I do sell them. I have a real hard time letting go of my artwork. <laughs> but I realize I don't have enough cabinets. Um, Susie, yes, it is extra fine and uh, fine, yes. I don't like to do a lot of sanding, so I, I will use fine and extra fine glitters to avoid that. I've only been doing tumblers now, I'm going to say about four months, so not, not a whole, not a long time, and to be honest with you, I really suck, excuse my language, at the traditional tumblers that people make with the water slides and printable vinyls and all that, I, my creativity gets, just dies. Now, wood grains I can do, peekaboos I can do, um, but anything else, mm, nah. I'd much rather just do my stained glass. I do take custom orders if I do. Um, within reason, um, you have to remember, I do have to create a stencil. So sometimes that that's hard to do. But yeah. If you shoot me a message, I can see what you'd like and see if I, what I can come up with. So here's the copper. I'll start on this side. I think this is going to work out nicely. So now I'll move on to... Do, do, do. Oh, see, I missed a piece of the peacock. Why didn't anybody point that out? I missed that little corner right there. And that'll happen once you, because you're working on them pretty much upside down, you'll think you're done and be like, well, no, that should have been this color. Just go over it with your glitter. If your Mod Podge is still wet, 
take a paper towel or something and get most of it off <coughs> and just go over it. And now I need to go back to green. Let's do, we'll do pesto green for that little corner. Oh, the spray paint. I apologize. Let me get that spray paint when I do this. And I'll show you the paint that I use. So there. There. But you'll see, you know, it looks nice, but it kind of looks muddied, I call it. Let's see. So you leave the vinyl on. You don't pull it. Tammy, I do pull it up. When I have this all done, filled in, I'll seal it. I use uh, my sealer. I use Mod Podge spray. To seal my the, the stained glass, I find that it, it has a stronger hold when it dries because there's so many different colored glitters on here. When you go to epoxy, I don't want them mixing, um, so I just I spray it like it's a 1980s prom hairdo, so it's not going to move for nothing. Let me get that, uh, Andrea. I buy my. I just found these tumblers. I was using um, the 30 ounce skinnies from um, the Stainless Depot, but I found these 32 ounce uh, plumps, they're called, and I get them from the Steel Magnolia, and I love them. I, I, I love the plumps. There's no tapered. <laughs> So I would imagine that those doing um, full wrap water slides and uh, temporary tattoos, these cups would be incredible. You don't have to warp your image. You don't have to, and you get a nice clean wrap. But this is the paint that I use for whoever asked. I'm sorry, I don't remember, but that's what I use. Nothing fancy. I just use flat. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, so now let's do, let me look at my colors, I'm going to do purple, blue, and orange for my feathers. So I do blue, purple, no, let's do, I'm going to do orange in the center. Oh, come on, Tessa. My supervisors are coming out, my dogs. Again, if I'm going to just use one, if I'm going to use the same color for more than one area, I go ahead and do a couple. I paint a couple different spots. Just kind of cuts down on time. They're time consuming enough. We'll do orange. And then these, I will, I'll take my finger, pat down a little bit, make sure it's all the way up against the edge. But you'll see now that I'm using orange that more than likely I will have to do a second coat of the orange. Depends how it, it looks when it's dry. Come on, Tessa. She hears me talking. She thinks somebody's out here. Come on, Tessa. I don't know why she doesn't want to come out. Come on. All right, now she's happy. Um, I'd rather not say, Melissa. Um... Just because, you know, some people might get intimidated by them. And 
everybody has their own price work or price for their artwork I tend I'm doing pretty good with them I'll, I'll say that but in fairness I just I don't you can send me a message and I can tell you but I don't want to verbally give that away so I hope people understand that Sounds like it's raining here. So, a couple more and I'll show you the orange. What the orange is going to look like. Right down here. You're welcome. Thanks for understanding. Right here's what the orange. You can see how the orange, you can almost see the black through it. Um, sometimes I'll go over it. It just depends how it looks with the design. If I want it to pop more, I'll put a, um, another coat of orange on it. I may not on this one because it's kind of a, um, a dull color palette. So I may just leave it so you can actually see the black through it. So it looks like glass. I don't think that the tumblers... I don't think we should be using as much glitter as we do on a typical tumbler on these because like I said earlier you want it to give it you want to give it a stained glass look. So it's okay to to see a little bit of your background through the glitter. It just gives that illusion. This is actually going faster than I thought, so that's good. But if anyone's following along doing theirs, if you have questions, ask, please, 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 please. I did talk to Chelsea in case people missed my the post that I did. Anybody that's following along that's doing one, when you're finished, we'd love for you to post them. And we're going to have the group um, judge to pick their favorite, whoever gets the most votes, and I will be happy to send them one of my custom tumblers that I made. Just to kind of keep it fun, reward you guys for giving up your Sunday evening. So now there's the orange. <coughs> Start over here. See, See this one is a little bit lighter than this one. So I'll go over that one. <laughs> Erica. <laughs> uh, poor David. So there's the orange. Um, let's see, I think I want to do purple next to the orange. Yeah, I think I'll do purple. You'll notice that when you're doing this, oh, where's my camera? See how your brush gets all gunked up from the Mod Posh? I just use my paper towel. 
it's okay if your brush gets a little stiff it's actually better to me anyways I have better control and it makes your your tip nice and flat for when you're painting so I it just works out better for me that way and I mean I'm sure there's people sitting there watching this being thinking okay there's got to be an easier way and you know what there probably is um, like I said this this blossom just because there was an idea rolling in my head I can thank my best friend for getting in the stained glass um, sometimes sometimes I cussing for the getting into stained glass but and if you find shortcuts please 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 share them with me because I'm all about work smarter not harder so don't be afraid you're not gonna offend me by saying hey uh, I did it this way share them share your ideas your thoughts your processes it would be amazing because that's what we're all about. We're all about learning off of others. So you will not offend. Even if you're doing one at home, you'd be like, oh, I'm done. Joe's just doing his second feather and I'm done. Okay. How the hell did you do it? Don't be selfish. Um, yeah, let's do purple. Yeah, Terry. Um, oh, did I take it back? Oh, no, here it is. Here, Terry. This is all, this is what I use. I get it from Walmart. It's like three some 324 can or something. And I use, I use the flat, the flat black. I think I'm going to do soon, soon. Instead of using black, I'm going to use a copper spray paint um, because there are some stained glass pieces that instead of they do a black patina, they do a copper patina. Um, so I'm going to try a copper palette underneath. Let's just see how that works. Thank you, Sammy. And by the time you get around to do these other little pieces, pretty much like this peacock area, whoop, this peacock area is pretty much dry from the Mod Podge. So that makes it great when you're uh, getting ready to seal when you're done and you're sealed. By the time you have all your glitter laid, it, it's dry. You can go ahead and seal. Now I, um, on these, I actually will seal and then I pull my stencil off about 10 minutes after sealing. I don't want my sealer to be totally dry. I want it to kind of be a little tacky, um, easier to pull the vinyl off. And then I will let it sit a full 24 hours before I even attempt to put epoxy on it. I want to make sure everything is set. So nothing blends, nothing mixes, nothing falls off. So am I impatient? Yeah, I want it done, but it's too much work to mess up. But again, you can see on that purple right there, how it looks messy. And that's fine. It just because the, I, the glitter stuck to the vinyl there. But when I pull that vinyl, it'd be a nice crisp line. So don't get alarmed. Like I said, when you look at it, you'd be like, um, this isn't looking right. It's not supposed to. It's okay to make happy mistakes on this part. So where's everybody from? I'm in Florida, South Florida. In Vero Beach. Um, you know, Melissa, I, I, I don't know. 
Um, I don't know if, um, like the, what is that? Dishwasher safe Mod Posh. I don't, I don't know what kind of finish that would give all the glitters. I mean, it's worth a try. If you seal it really good. The only problem with the dishwasher safe Mod Posh, from what I understand, I've never used it. That takes a, a full 30 days to fully cure before you can even attempt to use it. Hey, Melissa, I'm in Vero. North Pole, Alaska. I believe the Sisters Cup is going to the North Pole. Um, and just so you guys know, it's my personal preference. I already talked to Stephanie. Stephanie actually got my last peacock that I did, my first peacock. I generally don't like recreating the artwork that I've already done. Um, just because I feel that it's a one-of-a-kind item. And for it to be truly one-of-a-kind, I don't like to recreate. So I'm doing this one just because it's quick and it's easy for a tutorial. But it's not going to be sold. I'm going to keep it on my shelf. So Stephanie will have the original and the one and only in use. How's that, Stephanie? One and only in use. And plus she lives in the North Pole, so she's got Santa connections. And I'm not about to piss off the big man. It's too close. <coughs> but if somebody um, wants a tumbler I've already done, I will contact the, the buyer of the original to ask them permission. If I can reuse it. If they say no, I re totally respect that and I will move on and try to get the person to order something else or something close. But I do that with my quilts too. I don't like creating the same quilt twice. I just feel you're paying for art. It shouldn't need to be mass produced. There's too many ideas out there. But that's my preference. I'm not forcing it on anybody. You do what you want, however you want. That brush is too big. <coughs> oh, I just got this brush. You women probably know it's a Clinique brush, a smudger. I have no idea. I just liked it because it had a point on it and I'm able to get in these little areas. It's kind of funny me going in there and buying all these makeup brushes, going to the cashier. Clearly they can look at me and see that I don't use them. So, so far there's the purple. I got a couple more to do. Oh, I missed one. See, you will miss one. After you stare at it a while doing glitter, it all runs together. <laughs> David, you'd probably have more fun watching the, listening to the game than me. Erica's become my Tumblr sister. We talk every night doing tumblers. And it's awesome because we both have ideas. We bounce off of each other. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie, I had a friend of mine well, a client tell me that they went to the North Pole and they had, let me think, there's, I guess there's a restaurant there on Mistletoe 
lane drive highway or something called the Elf's Den. And they said it was the best pizza that they've had. And they couldn't believe they had to go to the North Pole for it. Is that true? Is there really a place like that? I just had to get a five gallon bucket of this purple. I hate having such a big container. Erica was flipping out over my camo glitter that I made last, last night. Do you guys ever mix glitters? Customize your own glitters? I love it. And I'm going to give you guys a big secret in just a minute. As soon as I get this purple down, I'm going to let it dry just a couple minutes before I go on to the next color. But I'm going to show you. And I don't remember if I posted it or not. But I'll show you a tumbler that I did. Not everybody might have saw it. And then I'm going to give you a secret how I did it. Oh, that's funny, Stephanie. So it's true then. I just kind of looked at them like they were crazy. Because generally they are, but I guess they were being truthful. They said it was actually the best pizza that they've had. I guess they were staying in Anchorage, and then they drove up to the North Pole just to say that they went. I guess he said it was almost like a seven-hour drive or something. But he said it was the best pizza and the, a really cute place. Hey, Dorothy. Glad to see you're out of the hospital. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Oh. See, I wiped some of the purple off. I'm not going to cuss. I'm not going to cuss. I'm not going to cuss. It's Sunday. I'm not going to cuss. Okay, so now, the purple is, is laid on there now. Oh, nope, see, I missed there and there and there. Oh, and I missed some copper. See, it, it all... When, when you're doing them, it's hard to see when you're doing it this way. You really got to hold them up after you apply some glitters before you go to a next color and just look and see what's missing, what you need to fill in. <coughs> so, oh, let me, let me let that dry a second. I'm going to show you guys. So I did this tumbler. And this, the flesh, you can't find flesh glitter, or I can't. So, off to the store I went to brainstorm. First, I went to Michael's to see if they had any. Nope. Went to Joanne's. Nope. I was on my way home, pulled into the Dollar Tree, walking aimlessly around that store, and I bought makeup powder, foundation makeup powder, came home, crushed it up, mixed it with white glitter, and believe it or not, it worked awesome. It was almost as if it stuck to that white glitter and it, it never... It sealed perfectly, it never faded, it didn't bleed, <coughs> nothing. So, I made flesh glitter. So, that's, a, that's something to keep in mind. I won't charge extra for that advice or tidbit.
But I, I looked everywhere for flesh colored glitter and I couldn't find any. Okay, so let me get back to you. Oh, purple goes here. Oops. Purple goes here. And here. See, now I have to get the real little brush because there's just a couple of little spots. I think that's all the purples. Oh, nope. There's one. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer, I have something to show you. Hang on. <coughs> Let me lay this and I'll show you. Okay. Look, Jen. Jennifer... Hurdle, as I pronounce that right, made this for me. And Eric, I used yours yesterday, so it's being it has to be washed. It was me, Jennifer, and Erica did a blind tumbler swap. They created one for me. I created one for them blindly. We didn't know what anybody was getting, and we just shipped them off. Well, those girls outdid themselves, for sure. So blind tumblers, oh, sorry Jennifer, no, it was another Jennifer, I apologize. <laughs> uh. Sorry, it was another Jennifer in California. So we're going, oh. Let's see. I'm going to put the purple away. Somebody did send me a message. I'll read it afterwards and respond, I promise. Um... Now we're going to do the outer feathers. I'm going to do them in blue, I think. Yeah, blue. And the whole idea of this peacock, I wanted it to give it a, um, a half cup effect. Because if you're doing this for somebody, you can personalize it. Or To me, it was awesome because I will use black glitter. And I'll fill in all the negative space with black. And it just, it really looked awesome. Like it was being framed. I just think the black is, is great. And I am not ashamed to say it. The best black that I have experienced is from Walmart. The Onyx. It keeps its sparkle. And doesn't get muddy under epoxy. So, I'm not ashamed to say it. It must be good because every time I go into my local Walmart, it's always sold out. So, there must be others that think the same thing. I probably... You're absolutely right, Dorothy. See? See? All these extra eyes watching me, it, it helps. Thank you. So I'll show you what I'm doing with the blue. And I think I'm going to like it. <coughs> this is actually copper. Oop. 
Oh, thank you, Kelly. You just need to jump in and do it. Like I said earlier, I, 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 my hat's off to everybody else that's so creative with their, with their tumblers. Because I just, I'm not comfortable doing the, the traditional style with the water slides. So I'm, hats off to you ladies for being able to do it. I've made a few, but just as practice, and I'm just not comfortable. I think I'm so prone to quilting that this kind of gives me that, that quilting edge on a tumbler. Again, it's not going to be, your edges are not going to be clean now. It's okay. Um, unfortunately, you guys won't see this being epoxy tonight. Um, but I will tell you for when you, if those of you following along or when you make your own, when I do my epoxy on these, I flood. I use a flood coat on the first coat. I mean, on this 32 ounce, I'll use a good 40 mLs of epoxy. Just because you're going to have a lot of ridges when you pull the vinyl off in the black. So you want that epoxy to set in it to bring it up level. And... When you flood, you're not rubbing directly on the glitter. <coughs> so you got to, kind of got a cushion to be able to move it around. Nope, never have that problem, Terry, believe it or not. Um, I think a lot of it's because of using the brush. Um, you're able to have control of where it goes and how much. I don't, oh, I'll show you, I don't actually oversaturate it. And you can see that the glitter is laying flat i mean i get it flat but i'll show you and fyi this is my first live tutorial ever so if you're bored i apologize uh here terry so you can see how I, oh, where's it at? Don't really over drench it in Mod Podge. Just basically enough to stick. You don't really, I personally don't want the glitter to be really thick on the cup anyways. Because I like the, the look of stained glass. So I want the kind of, have a black background to it anyways, if it shines through. I'm okay with that. You're welcome, Jennifer, thank you. Slap, slap, slap. You can really take out some aggression on these tumblers. In case you guys weren't in here earlier, I love to use saran wrap when I'm doing Mod Podge. Um, whoops, just because if I have to take a break, go to the bathroom, whatever, I'll take my saran wrap and just cover everything up. I'll cover everything up like that. So it keeps air off my brushes. Um, I don't know. I'm weird, I guess. But it just keeps my brushes from drying out and the Mod Podge and... Another trick I've learned is um, 
if you're mod podging and you have to leave or whatever don't wash your brush out put it in a ziploc bag and put it in the refrigerator the mod podge won't harden it's just like a paintbrush so i will sometimes keep a brush in my refrigerator if i know i'm going back later or if i've done a stained glass and i'm like debating if i wanted to start another one if it's late at night i'll just put everything in the refrigerator and then after i made my decision i'll either use it or scrap it put it away wash it out Whew. This brush is getting a little gunky. Boy, there's a lot of blue on here. Erica, are you doing the ribbon? Um, Kelly, I, believe it or not, yesterday was the first stencil that we created on our own. My roommate helped me. Um, but now we know that it can be done so I will be making more of my own stencils um, I generally will go online and find coloring book digital coloring book pages or I will look for um, free stained glass patterns there's millions of them like if you want to do a flamingo just google flamingo um, Flamingo stained glass patterns and go under images there. There's millions and Then I'll just download them and Then I'll convert them to an SVG file and cut them out um, Just starting out if you are stained glass can have very fine lines with the vinyl if you're not comfortable with the fine lines look for coloring book images they have the thicker, thicker lines, and sometimes that they're easier to get the swing of things. Everybody's skill set's different. And there are some awesome coloring books. Even with the adult coloring books, great ones. Oh. I want to get the swear one. I want all the cuss words in it and make a stained glass of swear words. Okay, let me see. That's copper. See, so I missed one, two, three, four, five, six. Shoot, I missed a lot of copper. So I will do that after I do this blue. Mm -hmm. Again, I apologize for my coughing. It's not Corona. We were on vacation up in North Carolina and came home and I've had a cold ever since. Can't get rid of it. I think I get rid of it and then it comes right back. But in today's world, it's tough going in public and coughing. Everybody looks at you like you got the plague. Goodness. 
I'm gonna clean my brush off. What's my Tessa? Everybody's so quiet. Or is it just me being quiet? <coughs> um, I cut this from this, the 32 plump. I actually will cut, if I'm doing a full um, stencil, I'll cut it 9.3 by 10. This one I cut 9, 9.3 long by, um, I did six, six inches tall, because I kind of like having this as a negative space. To be able to fill that in with with black glitter kind of like i said it kind of frames it up and plus it keeps the formity of the the peacock it doesn't look all stretched and um obese but of course if you're using 20 ounces or whatever cups you're, you're using just measure your cup and cut it accordingly I did, Terry. I cut it out on the cricket. I did. Some of my stencils that I cut out on my cricket, I swear my cricket groans at me. But she gets the work done for me. Um, oh, this is blue here, too. Like I said, after a while, the colors just seem to, or the, your design kind of just gets lost. That's why it's good not to put your glitters away. Hi, Iris. Sorry, I didn't, wasn't ignoring you. Intensely watching. Good, point out all my mistakes for me then. Please. Again, I take my finger. When I get to the little areas, like, I'll show you. Like in this area, you can see like the little tiny dots. I'll put the Mod Podge on, sprinkle the glitter, and that's when I really tap my finger on top of that glitter to get it set in there. Um, it just pretty much helps it from popping off when you pull the vinyl. Some of them will. And I'll show you that. Um... That's gold. This is blue. I'm sorry, who was it that asked about my stencils? If I make my own stencils. Okay, so here is the blue. You see something I missed? Yeah, those spots right there will be copper, copper. All the rest of this left will be copper. So yeah, I think I'm kind of digging this. 
Probably could have used some more green in it, but that's all right. I think it'll be fine. The peacock really stands out. <coughs> and you can see that all the other colors that I've done, nothing is sticking to them because it's dry. The Mod Podge is dry. Okay, let's see. We need to go back over with the copper. And before I do that, I'm actually going to do this orange, couple orange spots. Now, once I have it painted and the glitter's on it, I don't brush. I kind of just dab it, take my brush and dab over top of it. And that really pushes the Mod Podge down in that glitter that's already on there. I'm not going to do them all. I'm just going to do a couple. Kind of give it a variation of different color, different shades of orange. There's my orange. And see, after dumping that orange, even on the purple, it didn't stick. You were able, I was able to knock it right off. So there's the orange. It'll stick to the black before it sticks to a, the other color glitter, which is odd. Let me let my dog out. You went out. <laughs> Go on. Okay, let's see. I just ran over my dang on toe. Um, okay, so we need to do copper again. I promise those who are sending me private messages, I will respond. I promise. If it's a, if you're following along and you have a question now, go ahead and just type it in the room and I can answer it for you. But hopefully we're going to do two tonight if I'm not boring you too much. Because the other one was an idea that I was just doing, golly, what, last weekend, Erica? I said, well, people might not have a 30-ounce skinny or a 20-ounce skinny in their inventory. So I just toyed around with a, um, a regular modern curve, or this is a true 32 one, and I cut the image 4x4, four four, and it worked out great. Um, that is neon orange from Hobby Lobby. If any retails are on here, I'm sorry. I apologize. I do order some from online. I am not a glitter snob. It's just I'm so new and there are so many glitter companies out there. I, I go insane when I start looking at all of them. But I do order. Um, some for some, some places.
I hope it's not raining out. Now this one I will actually get sealed twice because I will um, seal it when I get all the colors on it, let it set for a few minutes, and then I will put the black um, glitter for the fill-in. I'll put that on and then I'll seal it again. And then I'll let it sit maybe 10 minutes and then I'll start pulling the vinyl off. There's a spot right there. Let me get the little brush. And it's nice, I can rest my finger to steady my hand. And this damn cold needs to go away. Then pat it down because it's a small area. I don't know what I want to do right there. Hmm. I'm just looking at an area, see what color I want to use. They're so tiny, but two little spots. I think I'm just going to do copper. Pink Glitter Panda. Okay, I'll have to remember. Thank you, April. I'll check them out. That's basically how I find things that I'm interested in, just from... The tumbler groups, people posting, you know, where do you order glitter from? Where do you get tumblers from? Like I said, there's just so many. So, I mean, glitter, it must be a great business to be in. Okay. So, now this is where I... I'm going to seal in a minute but I don't want my brushes to dry out so I'll just roll them up into the saran wrap and then cover my Mod Podge so yes it looks junky right now I know it looks like a kindergartner colored it outside the lines. So I'm going to go spray this real quick so it can start setting up and we can add the black and we'll do the turtle. I will be right back guys. Okay. Yes, when you use Mod Podge, even the, um, what is this, the gloss? Yes. It's still going to look milky or dull. So don't be alarmed. Oh, Iris. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I used Mod Podge spray. To me, this holds the strongest for this type of cup. It doesn't, you know, once it hardens, it hardens. It's not going to, your color or your glitter is not going to shift and spread. To me, somebody else might use something totally different and that's okay. If you have something that works better, please let me know. Because Hamad Podge Spray is getting hard to find anymore. I usually get it at Walmart and they haven't had it in probably two months. So I'm glad I bought four or five cans when they had it. And it's expensive at Michael's. It was like $11 for a can. I'm like, mm, no, I'm not used to doing that. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to let that set a few minutes. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, I'm going to set this one off to the side for a minute. I'm going to let that uh, sealer set. Um, Let's see. This can go here or there. Oh, you know what? I didn't even, as much as I shop on Amazon, I didn't even think of that. Thank you, Iris. I will. I will look. I guess I just never think of Amazon for crafting needs. And my luck, it was probably on sale for Amazon days and I missed out. So, like I said earlier, some people don't use skinnies. Some people didn't have skinnies. Some people don't buy skinnies. So, I went ahead and tested it out. You can do this on a modern curve or any, um, what is it, Ozark Trail, whatever tumblers you, you have if you want to do a stained glass. I just cut my stencil down to on this one. This is a called a True 32. You can see it's a, has a has a wider workspace. Um, but I cut this image four by four. So just cut it accordingly, however you want it. I do on these, even though I've only made one so far, I am going to put the design on both sides. Um, you don't have to. If you're making one, you want to personalize it, of course. You can do however you want. But for me... I don't want to really personalize it. If they want to personalize, I can put it here. But I can put it here or even at the bottom. Um, let's see here. So this one I'm going to... I made... Camo glitter was another hard one I couldn't find. So I made mine. And that's what I came up with. I don't know if you can see it. But that's what I'm going to use on my turtle. On the shell. I just mixed um, chalk or espresso. What was it? Espresso uh, from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby espresso. Pesto from Recollections and gold from Recollections. And I got camo, and it looks awesome on a cup. I can show you a cup that I've already done one with. <laughs> Let me find it. I was doing a, I wanted to do a Fox temporary tattoo. So then I used, I made a copper or a camo glitter for the bottom and it turned out great. I love the colors of it. So, yep, I love customizing my glitters. Bring it down the house. Oh. But here's, here's one that I did last weekend. Yes, pesto from Recollections from Michaels, Erica. But you can see it turned out nice just with the, the smaller stained glass. I was, I'm pleased with it. Again, this was another color that I mixed for the Fox. I did, um, 
did I do? Give me a second. Oh, I did the orange, orange and gold is what I mixed. And I got basically a, a, almost a perfect fox color. My dog's gonna drive me crazy, guys. Come on, Riley. Hi, mister. <coughs> so yeah, I've learned, be creative, mix them. Pink camo, thank you, Kelly. Oh, might have to try that one, Erica. Maybe um, a pink, a gray. The only problem is the white. I think the white, the, the pink and the, the gray would wash the white out. You'd have to use a lot of white. Yeah, that's something to put together there. For sure. And even desert, you can find different colored uh, browns. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I need a color for the frame. <clears throat> okay, if you're looking at green, I didn't use a green on the fox, Sheila. If you're doing this, what color would you do the frame? I didn't pick that out. Hmm. Because the outside, this, all your, my negative space here is going to be uh, an ocean blue color. And then my bottom is going to be a sand color. Gold? Okay. We'll do gold, Iris. She called it. <coughs> Let's see. We will do a gold. And here we go on this one. I can get some of this done, then we can go back to the, the peacock. Again, you're just going to paint. Now, when you do make your um, this design, the 4x4, four four, your lines are going to be a little, little smaller, but very manageable to work with. Again, I used removable vinyl. Uh, Slap, slap, slap. <coughs> okay, I'm not using any really light colors. Um, my sand. I'll show you my sand that I made. Again, some glitter colors I just can't find. So you, to me, you have to make them. But I, since I do a lot of lighthouses, I needed a, a sand, kind of a, give you a sand look. So I mixed. Oh, and by the way, Michaels, I don't know, you guys probably know because you're smarter than me, has these little shaker cups. They're mic they're called mixing cups. They're four for a dollar. But they're great. That's how I customize my glitters so I don't have to make a big batch and they screw on. But I made sand colored glitter just by mixing gold and white. 
And then once the epoxy hits it, it really looks like sand. Again, I'm going to go over my edge right there because I might have spanked it too hard. I don't know. Breathing in some of that Mod Podge spray didn't help my cough either. That is some strong stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Golly. This is pretty. Thank you, Iris, for the suggestion. The gold looks really good. And who else said gold? Kelly. This will look really nice with the blue around it. So good job, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Elizabeth, I'm going to be honest. I said earlier, once I seal it, I actually will let it dry totally for 24 hours before I even attempt to put it on epoxy just because so much work went into it. I'm not about to mess it up. So I just make sure it's good and dry. Um, and then for a 32 ounce or a 30 ounce skinny, I do flood coats on my first coat, so I'll use like 40 mLs of glitter. Um, I like to have a little um, padding in between my fingers and the glitter so I'm not rubbing directly on the glitter, as well as when you pull the vinyl, you're going to have little channels <coughs> where no glitter's at. So by flooding it, you actually will fill them in and get a nice smooth coat. If any sanding needs to be done... I don't do it until after two, sometimes three coats, because you're only using one coat of glitter on these. So you don't want to have to sand it too deep. Um, let's do the sand. We'll do the sandy mounds at the bottom of the ocean. Now I'm kind of re-guessing. Maybe I'll just do the cup in two different colored blues. Instead of a blue and a sand. Top half and a bottom half. Okay. I'll show you the sand color when I put it down. Like I said, I just mixed gold and white. And that's how the sand color looks that I did. And I know white is another hard glitter to, to, to find one that you really like. Um, so if you know of any good vendors that have good white, let me know. Um, 
I buy the Walmart white just for mixing because it has a more of a holographic for when I mix it with different colors. See, I missed a couple spots. Oops. I think it's about time for some adult juice. That might help my cold. Okay. So there's the sand with the gold. So... Sorry to flip around, I'm just trying to do, get you guys as much as I can in this time. So I'm gonna go back to, let's see. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to the Peacock <coughs> for now. And I'm gonna add the black. Again, I just used the Onyx by Walmart. It really sparkles. Oh, let me find my little... Oh, for those that Mod Podge, if you don't know, these are amazing stencil dabbers. They work great for applying large areas quickly. And you get a nice even coat with them. Some people brush. I, I just find this is quick and easy. <coughs> I buy them at Michael's. Um, I'm trying to think where they were. I think they were... I don't think they were with the paint brushes. I think it was with the, the stencil. The... Well, like the stencil letters that you buy, it came in a big pack. They have all different sizes in a pack, and they were like five dollars. And I just wash them out, let them dry, reuse them because they're just sponges. Um, let's see, and then I have a real itty bitty one. And then go right along the edge. Um, And of course, down at this little peak, I got to paint. Okay. So now we're going to do the black. Oh, they have them at the Dollar Tree, Erica? I don't think I've ever seen them in ours. Again, I've already sealed it. So if the black gets on any other color, it's just going to dust off. Oops. Unlike I just missed my plate. I mean my fine china. My fine my expensive glitter catcher. <coughs> uh. 
I forgot I was doing a big cup, so I should have put two plates together. Oh, well. <coughs> the bottoms, I don't do anything with. You can. Um, I've gotten to the point now where um, I'm signing the bottoms of them and just putting 2020. I'm just putting my name, Joe. And I'm actually using a Sharpie paint marker. And I just signed them, Joe. But if you want to put glitter on the bottom, you can. So, now, the black's on. I'm going to run out and seal it real quick again. And in about 10 minutes, we're going to be able to pull the vinyl on them. You can do a reveal. Be right back, guys. Okay, so the black, all the colors are sealed now. Just gonna let it sit a few minutes. Then we'll be ready to pull that vinyl off and do some final touches. Cry over some spilled glitter, right? I keep forgetting when I go shopping. I need to get. I want to get a, um, like a dirt devil, or not a dirt devil. What's that thing called? The little handheld vacuums, dust buster, a dust buster, just for glitter. Um, Elizabeth, I use uh, Mod Podge spray. Like I said earlier, it um, seems to hold a lot harder for me than the, um, the clear spray paint. And I spray it like a 1980s prom hairdo. It's not going to move. the turtle for a minute or two or five okay these are done <coughs> for now I'm really liking that peacock so let's see here all right, I know Erica's dying to see it, so I'm going to do the camo part now. It is, Amanda. It just, I never have an issue. I mean, the, the trick of it is you have to let it dry totally, but that's okay. But the glitters, that when I put it on epoxy, it just doesn't seem to mix. But boy, does it stink. So spray it outside. Cause it is some strong stuff.
But Mod Podge Prey, I'm going to have to look on Amazon. Thank you, Iris, for suggesting that. I never, don't even know why I didn't even think of it. Oh, I did, um, anyone else struggle with shipping boxes to ship your tumblers? I just ordered 25 boxes on Uline. I got 25 boxes for $12 and they ship overnight. They'll be here on Tuesday from Georgia. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And they're like, I got the 12, 12 by six by four boxes. Cause these box, these are uh, 11 inch. Uh, my skinnies are 11 inch. Okay, Erica, here goes your camo. This, since it's just small pieces, I'm just going to go over the whole turtle at one time. Hmm. I like it. Oh, really? I didn't know that, Amanda. $17 a can, Jennifer, on Amazon? No. I didn't know that. So, is it the priority ship? It's been so long since I've been in a post office, I don't... So, a shoebox. Okay. <coughs> is it priority shipping? And can you use um, pirate ship with them? I'm new to that, too. Erica introduced me to that. Can you use priority shipped or priority labeled? Oh. Well, where were you like two hours ago, Amanda, when I ordered my boxes? I had no idea. I just thought they had that flat. Or the, the little boxes in the, the padded envelopes. Yes, it's priority. Okay. Hey, Jolene, you're welcome. All right, thank you, Amanda. I'm going to have to go down there and, and check it out. Can you get it? Oh, you can get them all. You can order them online. You don't have to go to the post office. Yes, yeah, send me a link. Very, please, please, please. I will order them tonight. I guess I should have just. Hi, Jolene. <coughs> well, I'm doing a turtle. I've already, we've already done the peacock. I'm waiting for that to dry so we can pull uh, pull the vinyl. Um, but I'm doing the turtle now. Kind of filling a void here. So, you know, watching paint dry is kind of boring. So right now I'm just painting. I'm painting the turtle. With Mod Podge. Do, let's do a green turtle. I live in Florida. We have green turtles. Mm, probably shouldn't have done that. And then I'll get your advice on, on this. Because I don't know if I'm seeing it right. Yes, Jolene, I use um, printable vinyl. Um, I either will search for, let's say, sea turtle. I want to do a sea turtle. I'll look for a sea turtle stained glass pattern online. I'll download it or save it 
and then I'll uh, convert it to an SVG file and then let Cricut cut it out on printable on removable vinyl and then once I have the stencil I paint it of course this is a black base I spray it black I spray it black flat put your vinyl on and then just mod podge each area I tell people to do your dark colors first save your light colored glitters for last so you prevent any mixing with the light colors <coughs> I think it looks like a turtle I'm in Vero Beach Kelly where are you so I think that looks like a turtle thank you Jolene so guys these right here would you think that's like seaweed or kelp I haven't yet um, I've been doing a lot of research on that iris and it even I, I want I'm intrigued I'm intrigued to try it it seems like there's a lot of additional steps or coats you got to put on coats like every two hours or something hey, do you use it So I'm trying to think what color I want to do. I have to be a green, I guess. <coughs> oh, we'll do sea green for the kelp. Ah, oh, Kelly, I was just in Northport. We had friends um, graduate from Northport High School. See, that was my thought too, Iris, because it doesn't, it looks like you just get small containers and I'm like, well, how much do you actually go through per cup? And I haven't found that answer. I just know people are putting, I'm going to do, I'm going to do sea green. But I just, yeah, that's, that's my only dilemma, Iris, is buying it and, I mean, it, is it actually cheaper than epoxy? I don't know. The initial cost, but how frequent are you buying it? And I don't understand the whole bright tones and there's a lot of research to go into it. And I guess I just haven't applied myself to really go full in depth. But I just did, I just, uh, I'm trying out K or KS resin now. And I am enjoying it. It's thicker, it seems like, than the other epoxies that I've used. And I like the fact there's like, I don't have any smell. I was, while I was waiting for that to come in, I ran out. See, and Andrea, I heard that. There's some things that the Crystal Lock doesn't like. And from my understanding, you have to buy their tents. And I think it does that because it's a water-based. And, you know, water and alcohol have a tendency of doing crazy things. I mean, that's my thought on it. But don't, don't they sell, it kind of looks like it's in an Elmer's glue bottle, um, tint or colors or something. Now this I might have to do, I might have to do two coats of that sea green. Yeah, April, I'm, I'm, in, I'm liking it. I mean, I do them right in my house. I, I was saying, I um, ran out in the middle of a project. So I bit the bullet, went to Michael's. I bought a thing of the amazing clear or whatever. <coughs> and good Lord, it, 
about ran us out of the house. It was so, the odor was so strong. It was bad. I had never experienced that before. I think that looks good. Yeah, the KS, I don't have any problem with bubbles. I don't have lumps, nothing. I mean, it, it's smooth. I want to try their, their quick set. I got a bottle of it. I haven't used it yet. Jolene, I'm going to be removing the vinyl on the Peacock in just a few minutes. I don't let the, um, the sealer kind of harden up all the way. I kind of like it leaving a little bit of gummy. Because then the, uh, the glitter is easier to work with to pull out the vinyl. So I will be pulling it off in just a few minutes. <coughs> That's why I'm doing two. I figured it would give us something to do while we're letting one dry. Okay, boy, I'm liking this one. Okay, Jolene, just went after you spray it, just let it sit for like 10 or 15 minutes till it gets tacky but not solid, and then just pull your vinyl off. Um, I use a, a, what is it, a pin pen, pin, pin pen? To pull my vinyl off. But I'll have the finishing steps. Um, in the video too. So you can watch it. So now. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one side guys. And then I'll. I'll um, pull the vinyl. Because I can always finish. This cup later. I don't want to tie everybody up for the whole night. Um, yeah, we'll do a darker blue for the water. Thank you, Jolene. And now I'm just going to, I'm just filling it in. Once I get this water color on here, I'll set this aside and we'll pull the vinyl on the peacock. Like I said, I don't want to tie up everybody's evening. It's Sunday. Erica's being awful quiet. She must be really concentrating. For those that weren't in here earlier, didn't see the post, if you're following along or you're going to make one this week, post it in the group. Because we're going to have, everyone's going to vote on them. And then whoever gets the most votes, I'm going to be, I'm happily donating um, one of my original stained glass art tumblers to the winner. And I'll send that out to them. Ooh. Don't you love it when something just happens when it, the way it's supposed to? I'm loving this. I'll give you guys a peek in a second. No sneak peeks. Oh, Joan. Okay. I'm in Vero Beach.
We're in Orlando quite often. Oh, did you do one like this, Erica? You did one. Oh, you did on. What did you do? What size cup did you do? Small world. Yeah, I call, uh, I refer to Vero as country coastal living. Goodness, I think we have a winner here. I was gonna do the top half of this cup blue, the bottom half like a sand color, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna maybe do it in two tone blues. I'm thinking I'll get your guys' thoughts after I get this finished. Two more spots. Okay. Okay, you guys ready to see this? Wow. Dun, 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 dun. I'm liking it. This one might just might be a keeper. I, I do too. I kind of like the color color palette. Hmm. <coughs> That's going to be real pretty. And then the other side I'll do just the same. I'll use the same colors. But like I said, I do, do them on both sides. Um, okay. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to go wash these out, and then we are going to pull vinyl. Dun, dun, dun. I don't want to wash the brushes out yet, because we might still need them for touch-up. But I just want to wash these sponges out. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sorry about that, but they're all washed out. Wanted to show you. People are asking with the stencils. This is the um, the coloring book I found when I went to St. Augustine Lighthouse. Thank you, Amanda. But when you open it up, perfect stained glass templates. So if you have a scanner, just scan them in and upload them to Design Space or make an S SVG file. Bam. They'll work perfect. Now the lines on these will be a little thicker, but that's okay. Because when you, of course, the template's not going to be this size when you print them out anyways for your tumbler. So they will shrink down. But they'll, it'll work out perfectly. So check coloring books whenever you're at Walmart and that's all the ones that I have now so I have all these that I can make tumblers out of for lighthouses <coughs> just a little the more you know because I like to craft on a budget Terry, you let me know when you want to make one and I'll send you a stencil of a lighthouse. A great, I do have a great um, starter template, if you like it. Well, I call it starter because it's, um, it's a great beginner. So now, I have to show it up here. Usually I'm doing it over my trash can. So I'm just going to take my pen, my pen pen, I think that's what it's called. And I'm just going to pull up the vinyl. Now, this isn't going to come off in one piece, so don't be alarmed if yours doesn't either. But you can see my, it's not that quite dry, so your vinyl is going to rip. So you're just going to, this is actually the long process. You're quite welcome, Terry. Pardon me if I'm not talking much. This takes concentration here. If you notice that your glitter is lifting up in spots, just push it down, go to another area to pull vinyl. It may not have all dried evenly, but you can see, whoop, where's my, see I just pull it up. It's gonna come off in pieces. I don't know why it just does. I don't know if it's the sealer that does causes that. But it's even better that it doesn't come off in one piece. Oh, this is a good one. See? And I'll show you. Okay. Oops. <coughs> See when they pull the vinyl off? You start getting the stained glass lines. Now that's paint. That's your black base of your cup. People have asked, oh, is that black glitter? Do you paint that on after? No, it's just from the stencil. Ooh. 
see my purple is lifting up right here. So let me go to another area. Let me work over here. It, it's funny when you're dealing, when you're doing these, some glitters dry quicker than others. I, that I found. I don't know. I I don't know if it's because some more, some colors are more porous than others. I, I don't know. And I'm awful with my left hand. I can't even pick my nose with my left hand. You guys didn't need to know that. Another bonus information, I guess. We'll call it. I'll show you this section as soon as I get. This is the most tedious part is pulling this vinyl. Okay, I'll show you this area. So you can see the feather there. So you can see one coat of glitter, perfect. But now once I pull all this vinyl, I'll let it set overnight and I'll, I'll epoxy it in the morning um, that's just my choice if you pull your vinyl and it, it's dry you're ready to go I'd still let it set for an hour or so because again you're not using that much Mod Podge you're not using that much glitter I guess I can say that most time I let it dry overnight because I've already sat here and and spent hours on the cup. I'm done with it by that point. I'm ready to move on to something else. I'm sorry, guys. I'm off screen doing it. I'm used to doing it over my trash can. Now, some of the... Some of the vinyl is hard to get up, so what I do is I kind of pull it back to me, stretch it a little bit, and then lift. Did that make sense? Yeah, so I'll just give it a little, little stretch. Kind of break it up around the edges see i'll shake it a little bit and bam pull it right off do it jolene tell you what send me a message so i remember to send you the template for the lighthouse later when i'm done here i'll send it i'll send it to you tonight just send me a message if you don't mind so I don't forget and if you have any questions I'm here you know so many of my friends were like I can't believe you guys you're gonna share your secret but you know what if I can help somebody else out because I've received so much help from other people <laughs> um, right but if I can help somebody else as much as people have helped me with my tumblers just getting started I'm all for it that's what we're here for we all grow we all learn 
you know, and a couple other people that I've talked to says, oh, I would never give that away. You're the only one doing something like that. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't give it away. Oh, did you see what happened? See what happened? That happens. It pulled the whole orange off right there. So we'll have to fix that and I'll show you how. <coughs> I mean, we all started somewhere, right? So before I get any further, because that orange spot pulled off right there, I'm just going in with my brush. That's why I don't wash anything up and freehand it. You can still, it'll still leave like a little residue behind. So you just tap it on there. Take my little brush, clean off them edges, and bam, let it dry. Why not, Terry? You got we we all started somewhere. Now, my first couple that I made of these stained glass, I actually kept my image up on the computer so I could see where the vinyl was that I'm pulling because sometimes your glitter does cover it. You have to strip what, Erica? The one you just did? I mean, I get excited. I'm, you're pulling off such little pieces. You get excited when you finally get a long piece to pull off at once. Ah, you're a quilter too, Terry? Why do you have to strip it, Erica? Well, it's only Mod Podge, so it'll be easy if you let it let it dry. Ooh. Okay, see there's something on my eyeball just, well, the peacock eye just pulled off too with the, <coughs> <coughs> see the eyeball just pulled off the peacock. So, easy fix, where did my black? We'll go in and make one. Well, I'm not laughing at you, Erica, but that's what happens when you hide in closets. Okay, so I just made a new eye. A new eyeball. And I don't, when I do repairs like this, I don't reseal. Um, just because I'm um, letting it set overnight anyways. So it'll be nice and, and solid by the time I put epoxy on it. So I don't reseal. Um, if you are going to epoxy it 
fairly quickly, I would I would go ahead and, and seal it again if you have to make repairs. This purple, oh, I knew that. See, the purple pulled off. For some reason, that purple just does not want to agree. <coughs> Doesn't want to stick to the cup. Okay, we're almost done weeding it. I see light at the tunnel. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, there are a few areas I'll go back over and touch up. Oh, 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 oh shoot. I thought we'd have a big piece. Do you, um, Terry, do you, um, machine quilt or hand quilt? Oh, I need to take pictures of the thread shed, Erica. I forgot today. I do tumblers in the house, but we have a, a thread shed that we call it. You know, like a she shed, but it's a thread shed. It has all of our quilt, quilting machines and sewing machines and embroidery machines and all of our fabric. and We have a 14-foot 14, 14 long arm. Ooh. Nice. We have, hmm, I'm embarrassed to say, we have three brother embroidery machines, and I don't even know how to use them. Um, everything else we have are Husqvarna's. The long arm that we have is a king quilter from California. Ah. Okay. So the vinyl's pulled. There are a couple spots that I'm going to sit here and, and fix, but like right here, I'm just going to fix them as I show you guys, so that way I don't have to go back. Does anybody else have a dump cup, is what I call it. And why I'm doing repairs, if I have to do one color, I look all over the cup to make sure I don't have any other spots that I need to fill in. Okay. Something else was needed. Oh, purple. Quite a few purple. For some reason, this purple did not like me today. Nice. I have a Husqvarna. Oh, shoot. I knew you. Uh, Jade. I have the Husqvarna, Husqvarna Jade 40. I think it is.
So that's purple. Put some purple there. They are April. I just keep adding colors to mine. And it's funny, I'll look at it one time, I'm like, God, it almost looks red, white, and blue. And then I'll look at it again, I'm like, mm, no, it looks like something else. So give me a second here. I'm just doing some small touch-up repairs. There's a little spot. Not every cup needs a touch up after you pull vinyl. Some do. It's all up to how authentic you want it to look. You know. Wow. I'm kind of liking it. You guys are awesome. Great color choices. Okay, so here we go, guys. <coughs> Let's start at the back. There you go. Oh, okay, Iris. Thanks for keeping us company. If you have any questions, send me a message. You'll notice some areas look lumpy. They won't once it dries. It's just the, the Mod Podge is still wet. I push them down as I go. But I'm liking this. And the good news is <coughs> the vinyl didn't pull any black paint up. If you see, it pulled none. So, let me get my other goodie. <coughs> Add to my dump, see, my, this is one of my dump jars. I swear it looks red, white, and blue, and I don't know where I would've got red, white, and blue. So once you've pulled your vinyl, you've done all your touch-ups. Um, I use Apple Barrel black paint from Walmart. The um, acrylic, matte acrylic paint. Um, I just bought this. It's metallic sequin black. I didn't like it. Um, it's very thin coverage. And it almost goes on like a like a gray color, like a stone gray, and I didn't like that. Oh, a or Terry, it's all your extra glitters that you like. When um, if I just have a little bit of glitter left on a plate or something, instead of opening up the container, dumping in there, I'll just dump it in my dump cup. And I'll, let me shake it up and I'll show you. So it's just all my glitters mixed up that's left over. All my, my leftovers. <coughs> um, trying to think. Erica actually got one of my stained glass cups. Made for my dump cup. Her surfboards. The, the outer frame of it was made for my dump cup. So, getting back to here, let me find my other paintbrush. Oh, so I find a paintbrush with a real rounded tip. Real round. My little thingy here. Just put a couple dabs.
I just use a very little bit because it does not going to take much. Take my take your brush, and I my choice. You don't have to if you don't want to. I go over my lines just to darken them. Any place that you need need it darkened, you just darken it up. When it dries, it dries the same color as your cup. Um, I bought the these the cups I'm using now are called um, thirty two plumps, and I got them from the Steel Magnolias. They're not there's no taper to them. They are a true straight tumbler, and they're amazing. They also have um. They have the 32 and they have a, I think a 24 plump. It's under their plump collection. Great company. And it's the only one I found that have these. So yeah, this one, this one turned out great. I have barely any touch up. Score. Okay. So there. You'll see this is lumpy right here. It won't be. It's just a little bit wet for me touching up. But there it is, guys. I think we did good. Okay, Erica. I think we did a good job, guys. So now I'll let that dry. I may be able to put this on epoxy. I don't even know what, if it's early enough. Because I'm up 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning anyways. So I may put that on epoxy tonight. If not, I'll have just let it set overnight. So let me dump my paint back in here. I like to clean up as I go. I can't stand a mess. Sorry. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Do, do, do. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today, this evening. So now we're going to do, for those just joining, this is the one that we were working on in between the peacock as the peacocks were drying. We did this one. I'm going to do the other side now. It won't take long. This one was really quick. Let's see. Iris said that. Um, Adrian, or Andrea, you're more than welcome. And like I said, guys, if you're making these and you have any questions, just shoot, shoot me a message. I've gotten really good at checking my the hidden messages lately. So I've gotten really good at that. I have a cold. I went. We went to um, Nags Head, North Carolina. It was supposed to be for four days, and we ended up get we got stranded there for seven. And I came home to Florida, and you know how that goes. Got a cold because it was actually cold up there. But it's not Corona. I promise.
But yeah, so when you're making yours, you have questions, just shoot me a message. I'm happy to help. More than happy to help. If you need help finding stencils, send me a message. If you're Googling stencils, just Google Flamingo Stained Glass. Lighthouse Stained Glass Pattern. Um, whatever. There's thousands of them. Download them. Convert them to SVGs. But you upload them to Design Space or I don't know what Silhouettes is called. Um, and let, let it cut it. If you look for, if you need inspiration for colors to use, again, Google, whatever you're working, Flamingo Stained Glass, look at images and just look at the different pictures, different colored glass that people are using that go together. Use them as your templates. Or not your templates, but your, your color palettes for your, your tumblers. They work out great. Um, if you can't find stained glass, look for digital uh, coloring book pages. Or buy coloring books and scan them if you have a scanner. Same thing. My little, anyone else use these? Love them. Anybody else use tumble sh tumbler shields? Yes, Kate, I'm using Mod Podge. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the screen. Mod Podge and just paint brushes. I do one coat of glitter for the darker colors. Um, lighter colors like your whites, pinks, oranges, uh, yellows. You may have to do two, three coats of those. But you don't want them heavy because you kind of want to still have a stained glass look. So there's the frame of that side. Me too. I like the honeycombs a lot. I just I started out with footballs and I just found they kept getting flimsier and flimsier and flimsier. And so I just ordered the I built well a friend of mine built my turner for me just by you know thought process I guess and we didn't know that we didn't realize that we um, should have used three quarter inch PVC so we're getting ready to re modify it and add the three quarters and take the quarter quarter inch off or the half inch off I didn't realize that it made that much of a difference, but it does. Don't you, April, do you like that tumbler shield? I love mine. Those of you who don't have them, I highly recommend investing. They're cheap, they are a great product. I think that's what I'll do. I'll the winner of the the winner of the tumbler after this I will give I'll throw in a tumbler tumbler shield with it too. 
I love them. Get adapters. What do you mean, April? <clears throat> I apologize for me coughing and I'm just painting a turtle. Oh, let me uh, give me a second, Terry, and I will show you what a tumbler shield is. I don't have them on here yet, but I, I'll put it on once it dries before it goes on epoxy. I will show you game changers. Anyone joining? This is the camo glitter that I made that I custom mixed. Amanda, I'm going to, because I've taken up so much time of everybody, if whoever makes a tumbler watching the tutorial after watching this video, post it to the group. I'm going to, group members are going to vote on them. And I, the winner of it's going to, I'm going to send them a custom, or uh, one of my original stained glass tumblers as a prize. But I'm gonna after the after we're done with the video and stuff, I'm gonna post it in the room again. I I made it. Where did you get the adapters from, April? If you don't mind me asking, did you did you just make the adapter? I've never heard of such a thing. You could just save me a whole lot of. Modif modifications, modifications, yeah, modifications. <laughs> but yes, Amanda, I'll make it. like them they're th these tumblers are, are amazing and no I don't get promoted by them or anything like that sponsored nothing I just I like these tumblers for this project and I would imagine anyone doing um, like the full uh, water slides on a cup I would imagine these would be fantastic for them for that process because there's no taper whatsoever. It's nine and three quarters at the top, nine and three quarters at the bottom. And then this one that I'm working on now is called the True, True 32. So you have all this workable space. Lowe's. Oh, in the plumbing section, April? Is it just like a... Um, well, I guess it'd be a step down or a step up. I didn't even think of that. You're a genius. A genius, I tell you. Looks like Lowe's will be getting my money tomorrow. Give me a second and I'll show you the tumbler, tumbler shield. I'm just trying to get this done so I don't hold you guys up any longer than I have to. So there. Give <coughs> me one second here. Ah. Oh. Um. <coughs> so, for anyone asking what the tumbler shield is, this is it. It goes down in your tumbler. 
Usually, I usually put them on when I'm prep. So then your arm would go in here. When you paint, when you spray, no paint gets on the rim inside. Um, when you uh, epoxy, none drips inside. You get a nice crisp edge. The trick of it is, after you've had your epoxy on it for about 20 minutes, stop your turner, break the seal off of there a little bit, so that way you're not getting any buildup. And I just actually just take this and put it back on the back side of my arm and it'll just spin. So tumblershields.com, amazing, amazing, amazing. And no more clean out on the inside of your cups. <coughs> okay, back to this turtle. Um, send me a message. Just send me a message, April. That's all right. Okay. Now we need to do this. I have tile floors back here, and I must have a, a tile that's higher or something. My wheel keeps getting stuck on it. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm doing the sand area on this side. So what do you guys think? Should I do this and should I do all this negative space? Should I do it in a a blue? Just a solid blue? So it look like ocean? I'm undecided. I've made too many color choices today already. Mm. Ooh, I thought of that. I'm not good at ombres, really, and I, I'm just not good. I mean, I can do a two-tone blue, do a darker, or, hmm, I'm trying to think. I guess a lighter to a darker, huh? I could do that. Again, for my sand color, I mixed colors together to make a sand. Gold and white. And then you got sand. Teal. Ooh, maybe I have a teal. Yeah, I think I have a teal. I do have a teal. That would work. <coughs> okay, now we'll do the green. Okay, I'm just doing the lines on the the kelp or seaweed or whatever you want to call it now.
Okay. These fine lines are hard to fill in. Almost have to be double jointed. And since that's got a lot of tips, again, I'll pat it down with my finger. Spank it a little bit. I don't kind of like that one. Oh, does anyone shop at Five Below? We just had one. Oh, hey, Dorothy, welcome back. So does anybody shop at Five Below? Hey, Carrie. Well, I'm going to show you, Joan, what I picked up yesterday at Five Below. So, I would say if you have one in the area, run there. Um, give me a second here. Let me place this. <coughs> Do, 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 do. Dust, 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 So, Five Below now has Dun, dun, dun. Alcohol, dual tip alcohol markers. Twelve of them, five dollars. And they're nice. I was looking to get a set at Michaels and they were like fifty dollars. Hey Raya, they're like fifty dollars. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not paying that. But Five Below has them. Just thought I would share that. Because I say that because some people might not want to do glitter. You may want to do um, a stained glass for a gentleman, a guy that don't want to glitter. So you take your cup, you paint it. I'm trying to think. You could paint it white. Then you um, put your stencil on and you could use alcohol markers to color it in. Color your stained glass in. When you pull the vinyl, then just take your black alcohol marker and color in the lines. So that's a little, little idea that I, another idea that's been rolling around in my head to try. But in theory, it will work. Really, Dorothy? Yeah, I'm in Vero. Were you in Palm Bay Hospital? Not that I'm being nosy. I was just at Renegers this morning at the flea market.
You're welcome, April. Thank you for joining. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. I'll be happy to help you along. I like Palm Bay Hospital as much as you can like a hospital, but I, I like them. I had to go there for some tests. My oncologist is in Palm Bay. I'm just doing the blue water now. Yeah, I didn't have to go to the ER. I just had to go in for some tests. And they were really nice. Better than Cleveland Clinic here. Now this one because it's so tiny, I won't I won't seal it before I do the blues. I'll just seal it all at once. Because it's manageable. These glitters are staying on great. Thank you, April. I'll look. No, actually <laughs> that's funny. No, actually, uh, we just had a five below open in Vero. We big time now. But yes, normally that's the five below I go to when I'm up there. But nope, we got one here. And it just opened Monday, so. It's a weird store. Ours is. There's no cashiers. I don't know if Palm Bay went to that way or not, but there's no cashiers at this store. I'm sure they'll have them and they'll keep them in stock. She said it was going to be a regular item that they're going to be carrying. I think I'm actually in love with this the way this turtle looks. I wasn't too sure when I first started it, but I'll take it. Ooh. Yeah, do I think all our, our new R5 below, it's all um Self checkout, no cashiers at all, all self. They have one person work in the front in case you have an, an issue, but they don't ring you up. Ta -da. Okay, so now uh, teal to blue, teal. How about darker? Um. Hmm. I don't really want to use aqua. 
Ахва. that one. Let me see what I got. Gary Wheeler, stay out of my glitter collection now. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let's try this experiment out. <sighs> Oh, I know with Carrie. Guys, Carrie's my sister. She used to torment the hell out of me with glitter, leaving me glitter bombs because I hate it. And now I'm like drenched in it. Miss Carrie would come visit and leave glitter on tops of ceiling fans and turns them turns them off so when I would go a week a month later into the guest room and turn the ceiling fan on yeah carry oh, carry carry Yeah, needless to say, Miss Carrie got called some very choice words. It was a good thing she was in the, in Indiana at that time. Yeah, I love you too, Carrie. Like a toothache. Oh, Carrie, I'm having company next weekend. FYI. from Brownsburg. I'm just doing the, the negative spaces on this cup, guys. I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> huh? She never did bring. What you talking about? You don't have to send me a message. Again, these dabbers are amazing. Get you some if you don't already have them. Okay, so, here we go. 
Oh, I guess I have to turn my good open. I'm just filling it in the spaces. Oh no, I don't like this. I'll have to do two coats of this. That's all right. That's all right. Yep, Dorothy Mod Podge. Thoughts, concerns, questions. I don't really, I don't know if I like the top half. What do you think? I, I think it is a man, I don't know. <laughs> I was just sitting here thinking the same thing. What, what movie has parrots that talk? But I think it is Home Alone. Greg, is that Home Alone? Yeah. Yep, it's Home Alone. I don't have any music on because I heard that sometimes Facebook will kick you off alive if you have music. I'm thinking I need to let this set a few because that, this top half is going to need a second coat. Because I think once I put the epoxy on it, it will wash out. <coughs> this is such a pretty blue. It's called Blue Bonnet. From Lily's Glitter Shop on Etsy. So not all my glitters is, is retail. Peacock one is drying really nice. I'll show you guys before we log off. this from Michael's I think it is I like the color here I'll show you guys because I haven't even posted it yet all finished anybody name the painting but yes it finished I am so proud of this 
I didn't know if I could do it. I did not know I would be able to do it. So I, I'm keeping this one. I've, I've, I've already had high triple digit offers on this and I said no. And then this one. I'm proud of this one. Because if you look, I even got the marshmallows toasted right. So I was pretty excited how that one, this one turned out. I've got a couple minutes of drying. For those who joined maybe didn't see the peacock, here's the peacock, we started at the back. And that's the peacock. We're letting this dry. It'll go on epoxy later on this evening, tonight. It'll be an all night spinner. Oh, see? It pays to always pick them up and look. Now I lost it. There it is. There's one little spot on here that needs a touch up. Just a little bit. I like this a lot. Nope, there's another spot. See, always check your cups, guys. I keep, you'll find spots that need touched up. Just a little bit of blue was missing. No, I just touched it up. Alright, let's see if we can put another coat on this yet. I don't want to hold you guys up. Ouch. Boy, that did blend pretty daggone well for not doing anything special here. With these two blues. And see how smooth it goes over with with these.
Yes, much better with a second coat. I apologize again for my cold. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because it was, um, it was so really, the color was very thin, Joan. And you can really see, if you look at it, you can really see the black. And in my experience, I could be wrong, just my experience. Had I done that one coat and put epoxy on it, I think it would have washed it all out. And the color wouldn't have had very much color under the epoxy. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. <coughs> I just found some of the light, lighter color glitters. It, when you put epoxy on them, it is kind of wash out this is perfect with two okay da, da, da. so there's our cup guys our second one We did a good job. We did a really good job on this. So I'm going to run out and spray it real quick. Wait a couple minutes. We'll pull the vinyl and then we're done. It'll be class dismissed. Be right back, guys. Hey, this stuff is strong. Take my breath. <coughs> well, all right. So we'll let this dry a couple minutes. Be able to pull the vinyl. While I am doing that, I'm gonna put some of these glitters away from the peacock that I don't need. So I'm still here. Don't say bad things about me. Over here. Hey, Cassandra.
that I have to say guys good choice on the, the blues I think they, they look great Just be a minute or two, a couple minutes, and we will pull the vinyl. That's my sand color. There, I got more sand. I'm not sure what that is. I have glitter everywhere. I don't know how people that have such organizational skills with glitter, it kills me. I'm just starting out and I have too much. Hey Zayden, hey Brandon. Ah, oh, love him too. <coughs> I miss him too. You'll have to bring him down when you can. Okay, while we're waiting for that cup to dry, I bought this and I need some ideas to use it for. It's glitter, but it's all in different shapes. And I don't know what to use it for. What can I use that for, guys? It's called confetti glitter. Sprinkle and sparkle. December is fine for Christmas. All right, let's see if we can pull this off yet. Let's see if we can pull this glitter off now. I'm just pulling the vinyl, guys. Ah! Combination of the Mod Podge spray and the adhesive on the vinyl, it just doesn't want to release on my fingers.
Okay, so we have a little touch-up to do on this one. Not bad so far. Manageable, manageable. I'm going to show you guys. This is why it's important to use a light-colored vinyl. See how it gets buried sometimes with your glitter? Don't use black. I made that mistake and almost went blind trying to figure out where I needed to pull the vinyl off of. I always use light colors. White, yellow, blues, whatever. And I actually got it. I found on Amazon. It's a white. Um, removable vinyl I found on there and it was 12 inch by 15 foot roll and it was $6 and I have to say that is the best vinyl my Cricut I think has ever cut <coughs> and it was Oracle 6 Oracle 631, I think it is. Ah. We're almost done, guys. I promise. I promise. I promise. And just remember to, when you're pulling your vinyl, pull slow. Because you never know which direction the vinyl is going in. Now we're doing the turtle. Keep your fingers crossed. And yes, I hold my breath a lot when I'm doing my tumblers. Oh, wow. Okay, so here's it rough. I got to touch a few places up. Yes, 631, Joan. <coughs> Let me touch this up real quick. You guys can see at least one side done. And it's funny because I sealed it with that Mod Podge spray. It is like stiff as a board. No glitter is even budging with me tapping on it to add more glitter. I love that spray. Somebody said, who said it was $17 on Amazon now, right now? That's insane. I pay like six at Walmart when, it, when, they, when they have it. Okay, see what I did? I made a boo-boo. I put the camo glitter on top of the green here. No good. <coughs> no good. So it's easily erased.
very easily erasable. And fixed. What was called? Missing a little bit of his flipper. He still looks a little wonky right there. Where's it? At? Just remember when you're doing your cups, look at them from all angles for touch ups. I've even put mine on the turner and turned it so I could see it flat to see if it needed any touch-ups anywhere. Okay guys, I think I think we did a great job. And there's your sea turtle, stained glass. I'm gonna. I'm actually going to get going anyway because I'm going to need something to eat and then I'll pull the other side. But I'll let them set up and I will put them on. I'll post them as they're, they're turning so everybody can see what we did. But I hope I taught everybody something at least. And like I said, as people do these, if you have any shortcuts or better ways of doing things, please send me a message because I'm willing to learn too. This is just something I, I did off the top of my head. Just do it together. So it was just a concept. I have seen other YouTube videos. Um, I think two other people maybe, but I didn't like the way that they did them for me. Um, to me, it wasn't a traditional stained glass process, but that's just me. It's whatever works for you guys, but I do appreciate everyone hanging out with me. <coughs> Thank you, Terry and Kelly. Well, you guys, everybody have a great evening, and um, I'm going to talk to Chelsea and see what kind of time frame we can come up with, with people posting their stained glass tumblers and we will members will judge them and the winner i said will get a custom stained glass tumbler for me i will be happy to send one out make one and send it out one of a kind but okay guys thank you so much again you guys have a great evening bye bye